Hey everyone, it's Jamie here and a very warm welcome to my travel channel. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications for weekly travel vlogs. Today I'm going to show you all the pools, infinity pools, whirlpools and infinity whirlpools on P&O's newest ship, Iona. As well as a look at the thermal suite and spa with its hydrotherapy pool, steam rooms and hot beds. And finally the retreat, an exclusive hideaway at the very front of the ship. So, are these the best pool facilities at sea? There's only one way to find out. Let's dive right in. According to P&O, Iona was designed to invite the outdoors in and for guests to never be far from a spectacular view of the ever-changing horizon. As such, Iona has four pools, two of which are infinity pools, a hydrotherapy pool in the thermal suite and 12 whirlpool spas, six of which are infinity whirlpools. The Skydome offers a relaxed poolside environment by day with good sized Skydome pool, whirlpool spa and dining options such as burger, pizza and rotisserie chicken and a wide range of drinking options. In the evening the space transitions into an entertainment venue showcasing aerialist displays, laser shows, live performances and DJ party nights under the stars. Let's now have a look at Prom Deck which is located on Deck 8 and it does indeed circle the entire ship and takes approximately nine minutes to walk, well, at least in flip-flops. Prom Deck is home to six Infinity Whirlpool spas, which are really well heated and offer the best views. Whilst we're having a quick peep at some of the other areas on prom deck, probably good to let you know now that all pools on the ship can be heated. Although honestly, p and crew do sometimes hold back on this, which is a little bit frustrating with some of the pools having a bit of the chill factor, but the whirlpools are beautifully toasty, thank goodness. Also on prom deck at the aft, is the fantastic sunset bar. Yes, the clue is in the title and two humongous whirlpool spas. As you're having a peep at the sunset bar area, I have to say I am a little bit disappointed that the pools are not more accessible for guests who have mobility issues or a disability. I can't quite understand what the rationale was behind this, but would very much like to hear from p if they have any explanations. Head to the front of the ship on deck 18 for the beach coma pool and bar. And if you're wondering what these are, well, they are indeed sunken seating areas, which are surrounding the beach coma pool. Very cool. And yes, you guessed it, just tucked around the corner, we have more Whirlpool spas, spoilt for choice. Also on deck 18, this time to the aft, we have the panorama pool and bar. This is one of two infinity pools on Iona, although for completely uninterrupted views from the pool, we're gonna to head to deck 16 shortly. If you'd like views of the other side of the panorama pool, well, head to the aft deck 17 and the bridge and you might get more than you bargained for. And now let's head to the infinity pool and bar at the aft of deck 16. Like I said earlier, if you want uninterrupted views from the pool, this is where you'll want to be. It ain't all that pretty though, I do apologise in advance. Just tucked behind the infinity pool, there's even a whirlpool spa in the middle of a splash zone. To the starboard side, you also have some fun water playgrounds for the kids or the very, very young adults like myself. Time to head to deck six and the Oasis Spa. So we are heading to the Oasis Spa and Health Club where we have booked for every day of this cruise, actually the whole week, um, access to the thermal spa, the sauna, the salt room and so on. So come with me and I'm gonna show you around. So you enter the spa on deck six, and then down the stairs we go. In the thermal suite, 
which we pay £20 per person per day to use on our cruise, you can expect heated lounges, a therapeutic sauna, sensory steam rooms and experiential showers. The centrepiece of course is the hydrotherapy pool with massaging jets and air recliners surrounded by comfy lounges to kick back and chillax. Right, different types of showers. This is the fog spray and it comes complete with sound effects. Amazing. This one's the Atlantic Ocean. I think it's supposed to be unpredictable and it starts firing jets at you from different angles. And now spray, raining again. Back to purple. Oh, now a heavy downpour. And it's going from cold to hot. Amazing. This is tropical rain. And it comes complete with little birds surfing away. This is a Caribbean storm. I'm not sure why yet. It looks like one jet of water to me. It's the Caribbean apparently. Oh, no, no, hang on. Ah, and the water's getting much hotter now. And yes, you guessed it, it's the side shower, which tickles my sides, by the way, makes me laugh a lot. It's awesome. I expect prices to use the thermal suite will depend upon your itinerary and length of cruise so be sure to book either in advance or as soon as you get on board as this is a popular area with guests. We found it to be good value and a lovely way to spend a couple hours each day. And to the front of deck 18, it's retreat time. Okay, we have a day at the retreat today. So follow me, I'm gonna show you around and tell you all the perks and the prices. The retreat on Iona boasts a commanding spot on deck 18 above the crow's nest. This exclusive hideaway is a quiet spot and paid for outside space on our visit, £40 per person for the day, which is exclusively for adults. Boasts two infinity whirlpools with rather splendid views, plus day beds, a bar, juice station and comfortable seating areas. There are breakfast, lunch and afternoon tea menus with these items included in the price of the retreat. Beverages from bar menus are chargeable. Sorry about that. My own personal opinion is that it's a little bit overpriced actually for what's included. Um, I can understand why it suits some people, but with so many lovely places uh, and open deck spaces on Iona to explore and to relax, uh, oh, it's a one-off for me. There you go, folks. The pools, whirlpool spas, spa and retreat on Iona. So what do you think? I'd love to hear from you, so please do drop your comments below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to subscribe and follow Travel Blog Jamie on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Thank you, folks.